what's up you guys welcome back to my channel today we're doing another declutter this is my lipstick declutter this is the last declutter in my actual Alex drawers after this we have like the vanity one more makeup category that is over by my typical filming area and then um like my hair care and my skin care and all that fun stuff so we're working our way through this I is what we're doing today so we're gonna jump right in because obviously this is a lot of lipsticks um the organizers are from sunny cosmetics they're the lipstick holders they do fit in the Alex drawers um, almost perfectly and there is like a little bit of space if you've got stuff that won't fit like these are just kind of tossed on there because I got really lazy I don't plan on reorganizing them today I'm just going through them um, and then I'll reorganize them at some point because I think I'm gonna end up having to move my makeup so I don't really care how super organized they are but we are going to jump right in so the first lipstick is the Ardell Hydra lipstick um, this is in the shade Fox. I got this in a subscription box and it's actually really nice. It's such a beautiful shade. So this one I am going to hang on to. I have, okay, I have a ton of Bare Minerals lipsticks and I had this same issue when I went through all of my um, like lip glosses and liquid lipsticks. The Bare Minerals ones just don't excite me. Like they're really beautiful, really beautiful shades. I don't know if it's the packaging like and I typically like black packaging I've got one of the marvelous moxie lipsticks um, this one is so old but I typically like plain black packaging and like I love this I just never want to reach for these like they're just not exciting to me so I think I'm gonna go ahead and pass along all of these that's nine lipsticks right off the bat I just I don't know they're just not super exciting to me I have two of the Abeka ultimate lipstick love I've gotten mauve and cupid's kiss these oh my god I really like these are so freaking beautiful so I'm definitely going to be keeping these I have some bite beauty lipsticks a lot of these are in order some of them are not so I have a little mini in chai I normally don't like keeping minis around but I freaking love this shade so I am going to keep that this one is meringue Oh my goodness I wasn't sure about this one and I recently tried it on again and I've been wearing it so much lately Scorpio this is from their um, astrology collection this is a really beautiful orange and I am a Scorpio so it's kismet pepper is so stunning like you can pry pepper out of my cold dead hands I love it this one is a multi stick in cashew this is such a beautiful shade for lips or for blush I love this one I'm gonna keep this one and then this is Taro. This one is a nice purple shade. I'm actually going to set this to the side because I have a lot of purple shades. I want to go through and figure out which ones I like the most because I definitely don't need all the ones that I've got. So I'm going to keep all of these. I'm going to set Taro off to the side and we will revisit that one. This is a Bobbi Brown Luxe Lip Color in Brocade. This is another purple one, but it's like two very different shades of purple. This is more of like um, like a mauvey maroon purple. This one I am going to keep because that is a beautiful shade. This is a Burberry Lip Velvet number 429. Oh my goodness, I love this. It's such a pretty red. I'm going to keep this one. Oh my goodness. I have two Burt's Bees lipsticks. I have a blush and then a magenta rush. I do like these. Like the shades are very pretty. This is magenta rush. And then this one is blush. I do like these. The shades are very, very pretty, but the packaging is very cheap. They kind of like the lipsticks kind of go up on the edge um, when you try to use them. And that just kind of bugs me. I don't really find myself reaching for them. They just aren't super exciting to me. The packaging is really cute though with the, like the little beehive logo, but I just, I don't know. They don't excite me. So I'm going to pass those along. All right. I have two Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks. This one is a walk of shame. Oh my God. See, this is like the main shades that I have in here are definitely the ones that I tend to gravitate towards. And this one is Bond Girl. Both of these are so stunning. They are pretty similar though. But for now, I'm going to keep both of those. All right, this is a mini Clinique. Oh, this is a full size actually. This is the Clinique Pop Lip Color and Primer in Grape Pop. This is another purple shade. Um, I'm going to set this one to the side and we will revisit the purples. We will revisit the purples in just a minute. I have two of the ColourPop Velvet Blurs. This one is 21 Questions. Oops. Oh, I love that one. I'm going to keep that one. And then this one is Hey Mr. DJ, which is, it's a little bit lighter, but it is such a beautiful shade. I'm going to keep that one. 
This is the Estee Lauder Pure Color Envy in Jealous. This one is definitely more on like the pink side. Hmm. What should I do with this one? I think I'm going to come back to this one. We'll revisit this one in a minute. This is the Estee Lauder Pure Color Love Lipstick in Flash Chill. This one is like, it has like shimmer in it. So I'm going to put this one in my maybe pile because I'm not a huge fan of like most shimmer lipsticks. Some of them are okay though. So I'm going to put this in the maybe pile and I'm going to try it on and we'll see what I think about it then. This is the Finding Ferdinand lipstick in Nob Hill Red. This one is beautiful. I'm keeping this one. This is the Flesh. I don't know what the lipstick name is, but it's in the shade Superb. Oh my goodness, yes. Oh, I'm keeping this one. This is Illamasqua um, Anti-Matter Lipstick in Bang. This one I'm going to keep. That's a really beautiful shade. I totally, like Illamasqua, I totally forget that I own. My hair is going crazy. Okay. I do have some Kat Von D lipsticks. Um, these were all purchased before I decided to no longer support her brand. Um, once again, same with like the other Kat Von D products that I have, because I already have them at this point, getting rid of them simply because they are Kat Von D, uh, would only be hurting my wallet and not like her or anybody else but me. So while I won't get rid of them solely because they are made by Kat Von D, I am no longer purchasing Kat Von D products. Um, with that said, these are the Studded Kiss lipsticks. This one is in Hexagram, which is beautiful. So that one I'm going to keep. This one is in Prayer, which is much deeper, but oh, stunning. That one I'm going to keep. This one is in Motorhead, which this one is such a beautiful, like, dark berry shade. But it looks almost black in the tube. But I am going to keep this one. And then this one is... Paif. I honestly have no idea how to say that name, but it's a really like almost dark brown with like this purple gray undertone. I'm going to put this one in my maybe pile. I'm going to try it on one more time. Um, I am doing, I have like a lippy exploration on my Instagram where I'm going through all of the liquid lipsticks that I don't know um, if I, I like the, the, all the ones that went into my maybe pile and I'm kind of trying them on and telling you guys whether or not I'm keeping or decluttering them. I have that saved to my highlights, and it's always in my stories. Um, so I'm going to do the same thing with this. So my Instagram handle is down below. Follow me there if you're interested to see what happens to the maybe pile. Um, this is the Kevin Aquan Expert Lip Color in a shade name that I cannot pronounce. This one is so old. I'm going to put this one in my maybe pile because I feel like I've kept this for so long because it is Kevin Aquan, um, and it was a pricey lipstick, but I don't feel like it's a shade that I would wear a whole lot. So I want to test this out one more time. I'm going to put that in the maybe pile. This is a Laura Mercier Cream Smooth Lip Color in Lychee Parfait. Oh my gosh. I'm going to put this one in the maybe pile too. Because a lot of these, like, I just don't know if that shade would look super great on me. So we're going to try it out again and we'll see what we think. I'm just not 100% sure. Okay, I've got two, I actually have three, but my third one is downstairs because it's like almost gone and I'm trying to finish it up. These are the L'Oreal Color Riche Balms. These aren't exactly lipsticks, but whatever. This one is in Vineyard Peach. Honestly, I'm not a big fan of peachy colors on me, so I'm going to pass that one along. And this one is in Legally Regal. This one is nice. It's just a little too light for my skin tone, so I don't ever like, this is my least used one, so I'm going to pass that one along. Um, this is the L'Oreal Project Runway, The Queen's Kiss. This was limited edition from the Project Runway collection. I really like this one. I just don't wear it super often. I'm going to put this in the maybe pile because it is kind of getting up there in age, so I need to make sure that I'm going to wear it if I do intend on keeping it. So I'm going to try this on one more time, make my decision then. I have a bunch of other, like these L'Oreal lipsticks, the Color Reach lipsticks. Um, this one is in Matte Traction Red. I love the packaging of these. This one I'm going to keep. That's a beautiful matte red. This one is in matte Jestic. This is another purple, so I'm going to put that. This is actually kind of similar to the Bobbi Brown Brocade. That's like really similar. This is just like the matte version of Brocade. Ooh, what to do? Okay, I'm going to keep the Bobbi Brown, but I'm going to pass along this one because I think I do like the non-matte version of this a little bit better. This is Mika or Mika. That is definitely a frosted lip. 
or it looks frosted anyways. I'm going to put this one in my baby pile, try that on one more time. This is Jennifer's Pink. I loved this collection. Oh, and that is such a beautiful pink. I'm going to keep this one. And then this one is Julianne's Nude, which this is nice, but it is not my nude shade. So this one I'm going to go ahead and pass along. I have two of these L'Oreal Infallible um, lipsticks. This one is in Beyond Blushing. Oh, no. Okay, that one can go. I don't know why I had this shade. And this one is a Ravishing Red. I do like this one, but I have so many other reds, and I don't love the packaging of these because the lipstick always drags across the packaging. So this one, I think I'm going to go ahead and pass along. Okay. Uh, this is a mini Lancome Lapsolo Rouge. I have no idea how to say the name of it, but it's a beautiful red shade. I actually do really like these lipsticks, so this little mini I am going to keep because I love that shade. This is the Lancome Rouge in Love in shade 353. This one is another one of those ones that like... Ugh. I'm going to put this in my maybe pile. I want to try it on one more time, but I really don't think that this shade is like a good shade on me, and I think that's why I don't reach for it very often, but I'm going to try it one more time. We'll see how it goes. Okay, this is the YSL Rouge Volupt Shine in shade 87. I just got this, and I love it. It's like a very nude shade, but it's almost more of like a balm type thing. Like it's not super high coverage, so I am going to keep that one. Oh, I don't know why I'm putting it there. I'm going to keep that one. Oh, and then I have one more of the L'Oreal Color Reach. I totally lost that. This is in Fairest Nude. Hmm. I'm going to put this one in my maybe pile. Because I feel like this is going to be too light for me. But I want to double check before I get rid of it. Because it is a really pretty nude. Okay, I've got three... What are these? The Laura Mercier Cream Smooth Lip Colors. This one is in Rose. This one is also going in my baby pile. Because I need to test that out. This is in Maya. Which is whoo, beautiful. I'm going to keep that one. And then this one is in Antique Pink which I'm not a huge pink fan, but I love this pink. So I'm going to keep that one. And then these are also, out of all of these, these are all Laura Mercier Velour Lovers lip colors. So this one is in an affair. Oh, yes, I have to keep that one. That one's gorgeous. This is in Joy. This one I'm going to put into my maybe pile. I'm going to try that on one more time, see if I like it or not. This one is in Temptation. Oh my god, what a stunning red. I'm keeping that one. This one is in Fantasy. Yes, please. Ooh, I'm keeping that one. This one is in Sensual. This one... I'm going to put in, oh god, that's really pale pink. I'm going to put this one in my baby pile. I'm like 98% sure that that's too pale for me, but it is a really pretty pink, so I want to double check. So that's going in the maybes. This one is in Cocoa Pout, which, oh, this is like the prettiest almost brown shade ever. I'm keeping that one. This is the YSL Rouge Pure Couture in shade number 10. This is also like a brand, brand new. It is, um, so I bought these lipsticks in like a kit. This is the only one I'm not 100% sure about, so I'm going to put this one in the babies. And then this is the YSL, the Slim in shade 17. I hate the packaging of this so much, but oh my god, that shade is stunning, so I'm keeping that one. Okay, I have a bunch of lipstick queen lipsticks this is black lace rabbit which is like the black lipstick that changes to your skin tone um honestly i just i don't know like i used to really like stuff like this and i used to have the cream blush too and i'm just not super into it anymore so i'm gonna pass that one along this is morning sunshine which is a yellow one that changes to like a pink that matches your skin tone and honestly it's just you know i don't know i just, I just don't really care that much these are from like some specific collection that I can't remember now. This one is a Peculiar Pink. I'm going to put this in my maybes. And this one is 
Maniac Mauve. This is really pretty. It's like a marble. Oh, and this one is gorgeous. I'm going to keep this one. Okay, and then these are all of like the regular lipstick, queen lipsticks. This is Bordeaux Sinner. I really like that. That's a really beautiful dark shade. This is Candy Sinner. This one is way too light for me. This one I'm going to go ahead and pass along. This is Hot Rose Sinner. This one I'm going to put in my maybe pile. This one is Mauve Center. I love mauve shades. I'm keeping that one. This one is Pinky Nude Center. I'm going to keep that one. I like that shade. And then this one is Red Center, which hmm, I just love red lips. Seriously, I'm going to keep this one. Okay, I've got a bunch of the Lorac lipsticks. And this is another like kind of hard one for me because same with the Bare Minerals. I don't know like a bunch of these are from the 20th anniversary collection and I just I don't know these are all the alter ego lipsticks and they're just so boring to me there's 14 lipsticks here um I mean like they're pretty shades but like I have them in other like packaging and from brands that I like a little bit better I think I think I'm going to pass all these on. We're just going to get rid of the whole bunch. Okay. I have a ton of MAC lipsticks. So many. This one is Aloof. Ooh. I'm going to put this in the maybe pile because I got rid of some shades that looked very similar to this, but I want to test that out one more time. This one is Amorous, which I love, so I'm going to keep that one. This is from the Caitlyn Jenner collection. This is Authentic Red. Oh my god, I can already tell you I'm going to keep this one. This is such a pretty red, but it's like so dark. I love it. Let me see. This one is Cyber, which is a purple. So we're going to put that in our purple discussion. This is Awaken. This is a frosty one. And like I... Uh, I feel like that's going to look like concealer on me. I'm going to put this in the maybes because I obviously have used it. I'm just not 100% sure. So we're going to put that in the maybes. We'll come back to it. This is Fanfare. I really like Fanfare. I think it's a beautiful shade. So I'm going to keep that one. This is um, H-E-A-U-X. I do not remember the name of that, but I love this shade. And this was from, I think, the Rihanna Collection. Let's see, this one is Nouvelle Vogue. This is like pink pink. I'm going to put this in the maybes. I'm going to try that out again. This is Morange, which, I mean, everybody needs an orange lip, right? And I don't think I have any other like orange, orange lips. So I'm going to hang out of that one. This one is from the Patrick Star Collection. This is Mama Star. Oh, I love that shade. I'm keeping that one. Okay, this one is Persistence. Love it. Keeping. I'm running out of arm space, you guys. This one is Plumful. Oh, love it. Keeping. All right. Okay. Um, this one is Pretty Irresistible. This was from, like, one of their Christmas collections. This one, it looks so red in the tube, but it comes out this pink shade. I think I'm going to put this in the maybe pile to try it out again. This one is Nude Du Jour. Yes, keeping that one for sure. This one is Party Line. Oh, I love this shade. This is this is like one of my first MAC lipsticks once I actually got into like MAC as a brand, and I love that one. This is Modern Temptress. Um, this one I'm going to put in the maybes. This is Instigator. That's a dark ass purple that once again looks like brocade. Nope, it does not. I don't even think brocade could be considered a purple, but that's going in the, in the purple pile. Okay, this one is Pure Heroin. Oh, this is a freaking purple. That's going to go into the purple pile. I have a couple from the um, Aladdin collection. This one is Raja definitely keeping. I freaking love that. And I kept the boxes from the Aladdin collection because they're so adorable. 
and this one is Princess Incognito. And I was really proud of myself because when the Aladdin collection came out, I didn't just buy everything. I actually like did my research and looked up swatches and shit and only bought the ones that I was interested in. So I'm going to keep both of those. This one is Riri Wu from the Rihanna collection. I'm keeping this. Such a gorgeous red. This is from the um, Archie Comics collection. This is Ronnie Red. I did used to have the Betty Pink. Um, this is more of a blue toned red, a blue based red. Um, but I did have the Betty one and that one I ended up decluttering because as much as I love Betty, like I kind of wish that I had collected it. I, I had kept it just for collector's purposes, but it is gone now, but I'm, I'm going to keep my Veronica one. And then this is Ruby Woo. Didn't I just do that one? Nope. Ruby Woo. Okay. I am going to keep Ruby Woo though. Gorgeous color. This is a Russian red. Mac seriously makes the best reds. I'm going to keep that one. This is St. Germain. I loved this shade so much and I have no idea why. I like this was probably the first MAC lipstick that I ever paid like full price for like that I went out of my way to get. I'm going to put this in the maybe pile and try it one more time because I don't think that that's my shade. Like I remember somebody was wearing it when I was younger and I absolutely loved it and then they said that this was what it was called their lipstick and I like rushed out and bought it and we just don't have the same skin tone. But I am going to try it one more time. This one is Spanish Fly. This is a frost lipstick, but it's beautiful. I'm going to put this one in the maybe pile. Okay, and then I've got Whirl. I had no idea I had this many MAC lipsticks. Oh, yes, Whirl I am 100% keeping. This is Up the Amp, which is another purple shade, so that's going to go into the purple pile. And then this is Viva Glam Nikki 2, which is another purple shade, so that's going to go into the purple pile. Okay, my last MAC lipsticks are these, um, these are the Lip Tensity lipsticks. So I have Toast and Butter. I do really like that one. I'm going to keep that one. This is Marsala. Oh, yes. Okay. This one is Driftwood. This is so pretty. Like, I love nudes like this. I'm going to keep this one. This one is Cordovan. Cordovan? Cordovan. I'm going to keep this one. The shades look nothing like their outer packaging. This one is beetroot. This one I'm going to keep because this is like a purple mauve. And then this is well bred brown. Oh my God. That's so pretty though. Okay. I have a makeup forever natural or rouge artist natural and N45. This was actually PR from, oh my God, so long ago. I freaking love this lipstick though. I think I am going to keep this because this is just ugh, so pretty. I've got some Marc Jacobs lipsticks. This is, these are the um, Laymark lip creams. This one is in Scandal. It's purple though, so I'll swatch it when I do the purple pile. And then this one is in Blow. Oh, yes. I'm going to keep Blow for sure. And then these are both the um, New Nudes Sheer Gel Lipsticks. So this one is in Eat Cake. Oh, yes. And these I actually did research on too. This is in Screen Test. And I like looking up swatches and shit to make sure that it was like would work for me. I know Eat Cake will. Screen Test I'm not 100% sure about. So I'm going to put that one in my maybe pile. Okay. And then I've got a bunch of the Maybelline Color Whispers. Honestly, I don't know. I do like them. Oh, they are really pretty. So I'm definitely going to keep these three. This one is a red around town, which is a really pretty like sheer red. I'm going to keep that one. This is pin up peach. See even this one though, because they are semi sheer. Like, I can pull off that peach shade. This one is Plum Setter. Oh, man. And then this one is Mocha Muse. Okay, so apparently I'm going to be keeping all of the color whispers. I honestly did not expect that. Um, I don't tend to wear them a whole lot. And, like, I think they're discontinued at this point. But, my God, they are pretty going in for round two. So, I cut this one in half. Now, like, granted, some of those are in my purple pile and some are in my maybe pile, but I have a decent amount in my declutter pile, so I'm happy. This one might be a little bit more difficult. 
All right, I have a ridiculous amount of the Maybelline Color Sensational Lipsticks. For whatever reason, I like semi-collect these, and I don't know why. I just love the packaging of them so much. But it doesn't make any sense to collect them. They take up so much space, and if I'm not going to use them, what is the point? So we're going to go through them. This one is Orchid Ecstasy. This is a freaking purple, so that's going to go into the purple pile. This one is Rose Rush. That's like an orange red. I actually like that. Okay. This is Maple Kiss. I'm going to put Maple Kiss in my maybe pile because I don't know if that's too, like, of a brownish light nude for me. That's an odd shade. Okay, this is Pink and Proper. This one I'm going to go ahead and pass along. This is Nude Lust. That one I'm going to keep. This one is Pink Me Up. Oh, yes. This one is Let Me Pink. I'm honestly wondering if I should even keep any of them, like in all seriousness. Okay, like seriously, at this point in my life, I tend to reach more for the high-end lipsticks anyways. And I think like besides these Maybelline ones, these are all high-end. And like most of these are. This one does well. This one does have a few more drugstore on it. But I'm really honestly debating this. Because, like, I obviously still have drugstore in my collection. I'm like, I never plan on, like, going completely high-end and, like, never buying drugstore again. I'm just trying to think, like, how often do I actually use these lipsticks? And is it worth having them when I already have, you know, dupes of most of the shades in, like, lipsticks that I do enjoy wearing? And I just, I don't know why I don't reach for these. So, like, I love the packaging. It's so cute. I just don't. I really love these. The, whatever this collection was, that is draggy though. <sighs> okay, let me think for a second. I'm so lost. Okay, I'm going to look at the Milani lipsticks really quick. Um, I've got a bunch of these too, and these, oh my gosh, I love the packaging of. And I prefer the quality of the Milani over the Maybelline, but this is another one where I have like a pretty decent collection. Um, I've got high voltage. Oh, so freaking beautiful best red Milani does really good reds too like as like a, a more affordable alternative to Mac I'm totally getting lipstick all over my pants and this is red label but as an all like as an affordable alternative to Mac lipsticks and Milani does amazing red lipsticks especially in this um gold packaging oh this one was on clearance this is rose hip all right well this one can go because I have no patience for that this is hot pink rage pretty plum rose oh yes raspberry rush yes. matte naked yes matte blissful mm, no that one can go matte diva oh no that one can go matte glam that's a purple. Matte Passion. Oh, so pretty. It is no longer connected to its base. So this one is going to go. This is Matte Darling. Gonna go. Okay. We're gonna come back to these two. I've got Revlon Lip Butters. I have a bunch of them. Um, I used to actually really like these. They were really great. Wild watermelon, sugar plum. Who knew I'd have this much issue with like the drugstore lippies? Like, I just have a lip problem. I'm telling you what. This is sweet tart. Okay, that one can go. Pink truffle. Oh my goodness. I used up an entire one of these and I bought this as a backup when they were being discontinued and I got it on clearance and I love it. I just don't wear it a whole lot anymore. Okay. I am going to keep the Revlon lip butters because I do like those. Okay. These Revlons are the Ultra HD lipstick. So this is HD Marigold. This is HD Gladius. I don't like the packaging of these, honestly. And I don't even think I need to swatch them because I already know, like, I don't like the packaging of these. So I've got Marigold, Gladius, and Geranium. I'm going to pass along all three of those. Okay. 
Oh, Rimmel London. Okay, this is the Moisture Renew Lipstick in Crystal Mauve. This one. I'm going to go ahead and pass that along. And then these are both the only one lipstick. This is an Oh So Wicked. That is pretty. This one is in Pink A Punch. Ooh. But I just never reach for these. So I'm going to pass both of those along. These are the um, NARS Audacious Lipsticks. So this one is Annabelle. Oh, yes. I love the packaging of these two. This is Audrey. Oh, yes. This is Aya. 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 That is like dark brown. I'm going to put this one in my maybe pile. I need to see about that one. This is Deborah. That one is also going in my baby pile. That's a very similar shade. So that's going in the maybes. This is Fanny. Oh, I feel like I have so many dupes to that, and that's not a shade that I wear very often, yet I can't ever get rid of them. This one is Kate. That's a freaking purple. This one is Shirley. Oh, yes. And this is Stefiana. Stefania? I actually really like that, and I don't tend to wear shades like that. Then I have the NARS Dolce Vita lipstick. Um, this is actually a backup because I had one that I was using for quite a while that I actually um, just finished up completely. Uh, this is in my project panel back a while back. So I am going to keep this one. I This taught me to never buy backups of lipsticks because, of course, once I finished this little guy I am so bored of that lipstick I can't even stand it but here we are so um this is the Paracone MD this is like the no lipstick lipstick or the no makeup lipstick I don't think that there's multiple shades of this but there might be I don't know um I got this as a platinum perk and I actually do really like it though it's very pretty so I'm gonna keep this one I have a ton of these Revlon ones too what are these the super lustrous lipstick and then like some of them are matte some of them are not these I do like I love the tubes of these I think they're so cute so like this one is pink in the afternoon see like that I could totally pull off this is fuchsia fusion oh, see like those, these are like unique colors though fifth ave reb fifth ave red I always have to keep oh my god I love that one this is rose wine Okay, that's beautiful. This is Mauve It Over, which is matte. I mean, how can you not love that? Oh my god. This is certainly red. This one actually isn't open because I just recently got this one, but I am going to keep it. Same with this one. This is um, Love Is On. I'm definitely going to keep that one. This is Red Lacquer. Oh, yes. What is with my obsession with freaking reds? This one is Blackberry. Okay, hear me out. It's such a beautiful shade on. Oh my god. This one is really red, and this is another matte shade. <sighs> what is with me in reds? I'm telling you. This is Berry Haute. That's purple. What's with me in purples? And then Violet Frenzy, which is purple. Um, here's a Too Faced purple, so we'll come back to that one later, too. I've got three Smashbox Be Legendary lipsticks. This one is in Witchy, which is like a really dark plum brown. I like that one. This is in Stylist Matte. Yes. And this is in Cognac. Yes. I need to wipe again. Oh my god. Okay, so then I've got some of the Too Faced. This is the, like, the peachy lipsticks, whatever the hell that was called. This one is Drunk Dial, which is another purple. Are we kidding? Hey, into the purple pile you go. This one is Got Peach. I love the imprint on these lipsticks. Like, seriously. I'm so obsessed with them. Oh, yes. Okay, this one I'm keeping. And I tried to do really well with these two, and I tried to only get the ones that I really liked. Moy Caliente keeping. Um, this is in Stop Traffic. So, obviously, there's a difference between how I'm buying lipsticks now, keeping that one, and how I used to buy lipsticks. This is in Sex on the Peach. Oh. See, like, that's the thing, like, I want to absolutely adore all the lipsticks that I have, and I'm not doing that right now. I also have a bunch of the Urban Decay Revolution lipsticks. I love these. This one is Bang. Oh, my God, yes. 
this is Anarchy. This one, Anarchy, I'm going to go ahead and put in the maybe pile because I want to try that on one more time. This is 69. Okay. I like 69. This is Catfight. Yes. Stunning. This is Manic. Oh my god, yes. This one is Liar. This one I've used so much. It's such a beautiful shade though. This is in Naked 2. Oh, yes. Ah. And then this one is in Venom, which is a freaking purple shade. Is that like brocade? Holy shit. Those are so similar. Oh, my God. I'm going to keep both of them for now. <clears throat> I really like that shade, but I definitely don't need both of them. This is one of the Urban Decay. It says Comfort Matte on it. I don't know what line this is from. Oh, this is um, Vice. This is a Vice lipstick. This is in 1993. Oh my god. If I could make a lipstick. Are you kidding me? I love this one. I'm definitely keeping this one. And then I have the three Cherry Collection lipsticks. This is in Juicy, which is like super mega frost. I'm going to put this in the baby pile because I definitely need to try that on before I decide to keep it. This is in Devilish also super frost okay maybe pile you go and this one is in cherry I really like oh god that's beautiful I don't know I don't know what I'm talking about this is the YSL rouge volupt in I think shade 17 this is another red but like look at how oh just oh okay so before I go back to the Maybellines, I want to see like how many I plan on keeping so I'm gonna go through and do the purple pile um, and just see how many I plan on keeping from that. And then I'm going to decide if I even want to go through and swatch the Maybellines. I don't know what I'm doing here today, so. Okay, so these are all of my purple shades. There are some that could be like dupes. I think I am going to keep the NARS Kate. I'm going to keep Max Cyber and Instigator. I'm going to keep Mac Up the Amp because that one's beautiful. The Milani Matte Glam. I do like that one. The By Beauty Taro, I love. The Too Faced, I'm going to keep. The MAC Viva Glam 2. This I'm going to put in the maybe pile because I don't know for sure how I feel about that one. I'm going to keep the Marc Jacobs Scandal because I freaking love that. And then Pure Heroin. Yeah, I'm going to keep that. And then these two were also dupes for each other. The Revlon Berry Haute and then the Clinique Pop Lip Color and Primer in Grape Pop. I think I'm going to pass on the Revlon one. I'm going, to keep, I'm going to keep the Clinique one. Okay, then we have this Estee Lauder Pure Color Envy in Jealous. This one I think I am going to keep. Okay, so these are the lipsticks that I'm keeping. Like, you can't fully see them, but I've got, like, two half-empty containers here now, which is wonderful. I have a small pile of maybe lipsticks, which you also can't see, so I don't know what the point of moving them is. Um, but I've got a small pile of maybe lipsticks, and then I need to figure out, I've got a, a pretty decently sized pile of declutter lipsticks over here, but I need to figure out what I'm doing with all my Maybelline lipsticks. It just feels so naked without them. <clears throat> you know what I mean? I guess the question that it comes down to is like, do they bring me joy? I do get joy from using them though. Okay, I think I'm going to go through and figure out which ones I'm going to keep. So I'm going to keep Nude Lust, I'm going to keep this GG Hadid one. Oh, here's another one. This is an Aaron. Yes, I'm going to keep that. Okay, so I'm just going to go through color by color and figure out what I want to keep and what I don't want to keep. This is Let Me Pink. That one I'm going to keep. Oh, shit. This is Power Peony. This one can go because I've got a couple that are similar to this in my maybe pile. That one can just go. Brazen Berry. This is a purple one. Honestly, I just have, I'm keeping like so many of my purples and I wasn't expecting to do that. So that one can go. This is Neon Red. This one I'm going to keep. This is Dynamite Red. Oh yes, that one I'm going to keep. 
This is Almond Rose. Yes, that one I'm going to keep. This is Rose Rush. This one looks kind of orangish to me. I'm going to put that one in my maybe pile. Try it out. This is Cinnamon. This one I'm also going to put in the maybe pile. I'm not 100% sure about that one. This is Siren in Scarlet. This one I'm going to keep. This is Concrete Jungle. This one is going in my maybe pile. This one is Blushing Bud. This one I'm going to keep. Oh my goodness. This is Vibrant Mandarin. This one I'm keeping. This is actually, believe it or not, one of my favorites. This is Pretty in Plum. This is another purple though. And so I think I'm going to go ahead and just pass along the purple because I definitely don't need that. This is White Gold. Um, this one can definitely go. I don't like that. My hair is getting stuck to everything. This is Silk Stone. This one I am going to keep. This is such a pretty gray. This one is Copper Spark. This one I think I'm going to put into the maybe pile because I'm not 100% sure about that. This is Stormy Sahara. This one I'm going to keep. This one is Electric Orange. This one I'm going to put in my maybe pile. This is Pink Me Up. This one I really did like. I'm going to keep that one. This is Orchid Ecstasy. This is another freaking purple. I had three purples in my Maybelline collection alone. This is Smoked Silver. This is like a purple gray. I'm going to put this in the maybe pile. This one is Blissful Berry. This one I am going to keep because that's just a pretty shade. This is Carnation Cabernet. Yeah, I'm going to keep that one. This one is Vivid Rose. This one I'm going to keep. And then this one is Deepest Cherry. This one I actually did really like. Okay, so what it comes down to is I might not even end up keeping these for very long. Like, I'm going to try to make a habit of using them a little bit more. And if I cannot do that, then I'm going to declutter all of them. Like, all of the little Maybelline ones. Because if I can't make a habit at this point on, I know I'm never going to be able to. So we're going to try again. I just, I don't, I really like them, you guys. Okay. But I am pretty happy with myself. Like, look. Look at all of the lipsticks that I'm getting rid of. There's so many. Like, honestly, I have such an issue with lipsticks that I did not think I was going to be able to get rid of this many lipsticks. And I'm very proud of myself. These organizers were both, like, one of them was all the way full and one of them had, like, two rows left. And I'm so happy that now they're only half full. So I do have some new lipsticks that I've recently purchased during like National Lipstick Day that I have not put in these organizers yet. Um, but my mindset has completely changed when buying lipsticks. And now I only buy lipsticks in the shades that I actually have an interest in wearing. So I'm doing a lot better that way. I'm not just buying like full collections to collect them. I'm only buying shades that I'm interested in, which is why a lot of like my newer shades are very nude or like mauve nude shades because those tend to be the ones that I reach for the most. But of course, I do like my purple lips and my red lips and every great once in a while my orange lips. So my collection like resembles that now though. I don't have a ton of pinks or berries anymore. I do have a few, but not a ton. Um, but I'm really happy with like what I was able to get rid of. So make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you like these videos. Um, like I said, I do have other collection <clears throat> declutter videos coming soon. Um, just not like I think I have one more like makeup declutter video um and the rest of them are all like skincare hair care miscellaneous vanity shit um and then i will be doing um some declutter videos from like around my house so let me know in the comments down below if you're interested in seeing those kind of more like lifestyle declutters instead of solely makeup declutters but let me know you guys thoughts on that down below thank you so much for joining me today and have a great one goodbye